If you thought that anacondas and pythons were intimidating, you haven't seen anything yet. Slithering through the South American jungles and devouring anything that gets in its way, there's one particular beast that reigns as king of the reptiles. The largest snake to have ever roamed our Earth. It's called the Titanoboa. And it's not to be messed with. History and science claim that these frightening beasts are extinct. Yet some people claim to have seen them with their own eyes. So how big are we talking here? Could it really still exist with us today? The nightmarish Titanoboa is thought to have wandered around the Earth from 58 million to 60 million years ago, during the Paleogene period. However, the story of this fascinating creature's discovery is far more recent. To find the proof of these slithering beasts, we only have to wind the clocks back to the 2000s, which is when a team of scientists in Colombia came across this groundbreaking discovery. The mystery and intrigue kickstarted in 2002, when a Colombian student visited the Cerro Jun coal mine in La Guajira. And that's right about here, in the north of the country. The student made a startling discovery, finding a fossilized leaf that hinted at the former existence of an ancient rainforest. And what goes hand in hand with a rainforest? Well, of course, it's wildlife. So over the next few years, scientists, archaeologists, and research teams explored the area, finding fossils of giant turtles and crocodiles, and even evidence of some of the world's earliest banana, avocado, and chocolate plants. But it was in 2009 that the ominous bones of the Titanoboa were first sighted. Thereafter, three important men joined forces. Jonathan Block of the Florida Museum of Natural History, Carlos Jaramillo of the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, and Jason Head, one of the world's foremost experts in ancient snakes. Together they uncovered everything that they could about this frightening beast. They even think that it could have taken down a T-Rex. At first, they thought these bones were related to a modern type of snake, the boa constrictor. But the environment suggested that it could have been closer to the South American anaconda. After further study though, they realized that this was an entirely new species, something that was shockingly enormous. So later in 2009, they named it the Titanoboa. And indeed, it was titanic in size. Based on calculations made from the excavated vertebrae, Titanoboa has been estimated to be, without a doubt, the biggest snake to have ever glided around this earth. How big are we talking here? 10 feet? Nah. 20 feet? Nope. Let's try 43. Yeah. That's right. Paleontologists have asserted that the body length of the average adult Titanoboa was roughly 45 feet, which is about 14 meters, and it was tipping the scales at a suffocating 1.25 tons. That's 1,135 kilos or close to 2,800 pounds. I don't know about you, but that sounds as light as a feather to me. Am I right? And remember, that was just the average. There were easily some gliding monsters that were far bigger than that. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about this gigantic creature because it's, well, extinct. Or at least we think it is. Some believe the Titanoboa still exists in parts of the Amazon, but we'll touch on that later. What's beyond a doubt, however, are two other species of mammoth-sized snakes, the giant anaconda and the reticulated python. These are the two biggest snakes alive today. So, how do they compare to our dear friend Mr. Titanoboa over here? Well, first off, let's take a look at the giant anaconda, also known as the green anaconda, or Eunychtes murinus. This aquatic monster can weigh in at 550 pounds, and averages about 17 feet in length, which is over 5 meters. It has been noted, however, that some individuals can grow to as long as 30 feet. What's equally as menacing is its thickness. At some areas, these snakes have measured a circumference of up to three feet. While these Amazon animals usually feast on fish, birds, wild pigs, and capybaras, they've also been known to eat, believe it or not, jaguars. Then you've got the reticulated python, usually found over in Southeast Asia and Indonesia. While these slithery suckers can also grow to a scary 30 feet in length, they're not quite as heavy as the giant anaconda. I mean, they're only 250 pounds. Even though the reticulated pythons can be very unpredictable, for whatever reason, they're a very popular pet for exotic snake owners. Yeah, no thank you. According to Guinness World Records, the longest snake in captivity right now is a cute-as-a-button reticulated python named Medusa. And if you feel like giving this 350 pound beast a visit, you can. She's over in a haunted mansion exhibit in Kansas City. Now clearly, 
she is massive. But again, her size, just like that of the anaconda, does not come close to the titanoboa. Those are the largest snakes in the world today, but they're not necessarily the most deadly. In fact, giant anacondas don't even bite. The ones that you really need to look out for though are the smaller ones. Of the 600 plus venomous species found on Earth, only about 200 can do any real damage to you or me. The saw scale viper, the king cobra, and the tiger snake are among the worst of them. The former doesn't have any particularly special venom, but since it's often found in populated areas like India and the Middle East, it's responsible for more human fatalities per year than any other snake. The king cobra. Ugh, now that's gonna send a shiver down anyone's spine. At 18 feet long, or 5.5 meters, it's the world's longest venomous snake, and it can deliver enough neurotoxins in its bite to take down an Asian elephant, or obviously, a human. As for the tiger snake, well, the dizzying effects of its bite just take minutes to kick in, and without proper treatment, they can be fatal. So, watch out for these little guys on your next trip to Australia. Similarly, watch out for our giant friend the Titanoboa if you're ever traversing through the jungles of South America. Remember that expert team of scientists that put the pieces of the ancient snake together? Well, they also concluded a few things about the climate and the habitat that Titanoboa called home at the time. Alright, time for a quick science lesson. Hotter temperatures mean cold-blooded reptiles like snakes can grow larger. Long story short, they absorb heat from their environment for energy. More heat equals more energy, and more energy means that they can capture more prey eat more, and therefore grow bigger and bigger. In order for the super snake to reach such an immense size, the cold-blooded reptile would have needed to exist within a temperature between 86 and 93 degrees Fahrenheit, or 30 to 34 degrees Celsius. That's substantially higher than the averages for today's tropical rainforests. Evidently, it was just a little bit warmer back 58 million years ago. The temperature didn't just make one individual snake giant. Oh no. This wasn't a case of a single freak of nature. Every single one of these unimaginable creatures was huge. Even the smaller ones were easily over 30 feet in length. Now imagine a nest of these legless carnivores slithering right at you. Oh yeah, that's not a fun thought, is it? Mm. How do we actually know that this is all true though, considering that we haven't officially seen them alive today? Well, the answer lies in the vertebrae that were found back in 2009. Once the 28 fossils were found, the expert research team of Block, Jeremio, and Head published their findings. The vertebrae were all from different snakes, meaning that they were studying a number of titanoboas, yet the vertebrae were all of comparable size to one another. Comparably massive size, I guess we should say. What about their diets? We know that they're carnivores, but what type of animals did they prefer? How did they lure their prey in? Make no mistake, Titanoboa was at the top of the food chain. While they'd eat pretty much anything, the Titanoboa had a particular affinity for smaller reptiles and birds. Yeah, it could eat fish, sure, but so could crocodiles and turtles. Big deal, right? You know what? Titanoboa ate the crocs and turtles as well. Some snakes are venomous, like the tiger snake and the king cobra who paralyze their prey with a bite or two and then they dig in for dinner. On the other hand, some snakes who lack a venomous bite, like the reticulated python and the anaconda, are what are called constrictors. This means that they coil around their prey and squeeze them until they're ready to eat a couple minutes later. Considering that the titanoboa is thought to be a descendant of those species, it makes sense that it also be a constrictor. I mean, when you're 40 feet long and have a crazy constriction force, unlike anything we've ever seen, you don't really need venom anyway. When we say crazy constriction force, we mean it. Hypothetically, if this titan coexisted with the anacondas and pythons of today, how would its power compare? In a 2007 book called Biology of Boas and Pythons, researchers concluded that the most impressive constricting force of a modern day snake came from a boa constrictor that was about 7 feet in total length. And what was its constricting pressure? 25 pounds per square inch, or 25 psi. That gave it enough pressure to squeeze large animals like monkeys and wild pigs into a puddle. Since the ancient snakes are six times bigger than the modern day boa, if they happen to share the same strength ratio, then theoretically titanoboa should be able to take down animals six times as big. We're talking rhinos, gorillas, lions, Oh yeah, even large elephants. But the Smithsonian tells us that the Titanoboa had a constricting pressure far, far greater than that. 
it was an astonishing 400 PSI. That's the equivalent of a tiny little human being crushed by three Eiffel Towers. Ugh, that hurt. In today's world, pound for pound, the much smaller 5 foot California king snake is the strongest, but it would be no match whatsoever for our Gigantor here. But why does all this actually matter? I mean, Titanoboas are extinct, right? Well, don't be so sure. You see, there's a lot hiding in the Amazon rainforest. Because of its incomprehensible size of 2.5 million square miles and constant flash flooding, it's one of the few places in the world yet to be fully explored. Biologists believe that there are many species inside the rainforest which remain undiscovered, and yeah, Titanoboa really could be one of them. Although it is kinda hard to believe that a basilisk sized monster would be sliding around unnoticed for so long, wouldn't you say? For years there's been speculation. In the early 1900s, people claimed that they had seen anacondas 30 feet and longer. Back in 1906, South American explorer Colonel Percy Howard Fawcett wrote in his journal that he had taken down a 62-foot long anaconda. Despite not being verified, he was generally a well-trusted explorer. In 2012, a 48-foot monster did appear in Grand Central Terminal in New York, which scared the life out of a bunch of people. However, it was, of course, just a man-made replica. Furthermore, video sightings of scarily large snakes have been popping up all over the internet recently, but we've yet to see our friendly Titanoboa in the flesh. So, craving more snakes? Why not check out our video about the rarest reptiles slithering around today? Or how about the most expensive dog breeds? Till next time, thanks for watching.